Darkness lays its heavy head over the vast island of Gateway. Though many terrors lurk in the dark, one such creature is out of place in its embrace. A young Carnotaurus, freshly banished from the nest. Now large enough to hunt for herself, she is required to make her own way in the world. Life on Gateway will not be easy, but she must learn to survive on her own, despite the odds. Having had a rough few days on her own, she is on the verge of starvation and growing more desperate by the hour. Prey is scarce in the southern plains. Regardless, this small Carno, henceforth named Helga, will prove to be incredibly resilient as she learns to navigate within the scope of her world. Having successfully hunted a similarly sized Ceratosaurus, Helga feasts on the nutrient-dense organs inside. Still hungry, but much less dangerously close to starvation, she begins seeking her next meal. The scent of her previous food, however, has drawn in a second Serato. As dawn breaks over the horizon, Helga's stomach drives her to continue moving once more. She's not healed from her encounter with the Serato the night before, but Carnotaurus has an insatiable appetite. She cannot wait any longer. She must find food. A subadult raptor passes by her, calling out to appease her potentially dangerous intentions as it goes. The weakness in its call, however, gives Helga the confidence she needs, and she attacks. The raptor is stronger than she imagined, but ultimately it falls, and Helga has a proper meal. Life on Gateway is not often peaceful. Even in the Southern Plains, the resident island bullies spend their time harassing the other inhabitants. Many scientific studies have been done on the reasons for Stegosaurus behavior. However, the best conclusion that has been reached is that they are compensating for something. Luckily for our Carnotaurus, the tiny-brained Stegosaurs are unable to comprehend how the fastest land animal on Gateway can steal food from under their noses, and Helga is able to obtain all she needs despite their best efforts to kill her. When a younger Carno shows up, Helga takes him under her wing. Standing together in the face of bullies is often the only way to deal with them, and she is happy to mock them further by feeding another Carno juvenile as well. As night falls over the plains, Helga returns. Her fellow juvenile and an adult Carno join her. If they can wear down the stegos enough, even the biggest bullies will eventually be backed into a corner.
Throughout the night, the Carnos keep up their onslaught, not allowing the Stegos to sleep. Each time they attempt to lie down, they are targeted with vicious bites. As exhaustion sets in, so does fear. The Stego's threat displays die down as they place themselves on a cliff edge, one standing guard while the other attempts to rest. Even this, however, will not stop the determined Carnos from teaching the bullies a valuable lesson. Months pass, and Helga has grown from a plucky sub-adult into a strong adult Carno. Prey has been scarce in recent weeks, due to a trio of Dilophosaurus that have moved in. These smaller predators move around in packs during the night, ravenously consuming all smaller prey before it can grow into anything substantial for a Carno. This imbalance in the ecosystem must be rectified, and Helga's stomach drives her to hunt dangerous predators during their own hours. Venom running through her system leaves Helga confused and foggy. Hallucinations attack in the dark as her body and mind are damaged by the deadly toxins dealt by the Dilo's bite. Despite this, she continues after the Dilo when it flees, determined to follow it back and wipe out the entire pack. Having killed the first, she's forced to back off. The venom has taken a toll, and the bites left behind are bleeding profusely. She will need to wait out the remainder of the night and hunt down the rest of the pack in the morning. Dawn breaks over the plains, and Helga is on the move once more. She's incredibly hungry, having been unable to eat from her kill during the night. But now she knows where the remaining Dylos will be. Dilo venom, while always dangerous, is less potent during the day. Both Dilos go down leaving Helga with a hefty meal. Even though the Dilos are gone, Helga continues patrolling her home during the night.
Despite her foreboding presence, an incredibly bold Ceratosaurus approaches her. The carrion-eating Cerato isn't her preferred source of prey, and though she is hungry, she warns it off, preferring to eat the boar. By morning, however, the Cerato returns. He doesn't want to share the southern plains with a Carno, and makes his intention to claim the territory known with a threat display. She will not tolerate this display of dominance. The Cerato must die. Once her stomach has settled, Helga eats the nutrient-dense organs from the Cerrado. Although the southern plains are her home, instinct now drives her to move east for a time. The northeastern plains. In recent months, the inhabitants here have been infected with an unknown illness, causing confusion and hyper-aggressive behaviors in those infected. Regardless, this area is also the ancestral grounds for the Carnotaurus courting season. It is night when Helga reaches the northeastern plains. Her long journey across the island has left her famished and dehydrated. Luckily for her, this area is teeming with life. Although most of the inhabitants are dangerous, her time ruling the southern plains has prepared her for this trial. Startling a lone Dilo, she sends it scurrying off a cliff to its untimely death. A rather unconventional hunt, but not unwelcome. Unfortunately for her, though, a Serato has heard the commotion in the dark and decided to investigate. Weakened and nauseated but alive, Helga succumbs to her exhaustion. She must sleep off the nausea, as eating now will do nothing more than turn her stomach again. She is woken rudely by the return of the Serato. As the morning broke, it discovered where she had fallen asleep and took the opportunity to attack while she was defenseless. Now severely injured, sick once more, and exposed, Helga waits for the bleeding to slow before dragging her kill away from the open plains. 
Although not very well hidden, she will rest and eat once the bacteria passes through her system. Helga's late night patrolling habits from growing in the South Plains pay off as she discovers an elusive pack of Omniraptors that utilize the darkness to hunt without interference from their usual predators. Unfortunately for Arcarno, though, She's not the only predator out and about in the late hours. A Dinosuchus lazily rolls out of the lake, happy to steal the meal with minimal effort. Morning light brings greater threats than even Dino, though. As Helga drinks from the lake, a rustling in the bushes alerts her to a danger fast approaching. A highly aggressive Pachycephalosaurus attacks, looking to break the much larger Carno with its crushing skull. Sometimes, larger doesn't always mean stronger. All too quickly, Helga's legs are fractured and her ribcage is shattered. The Packy darts away, leaving Helga crippled and nearly defenseless. She limps away to heal, barely escaping notice by a passing Serato. This injury will take some time, and with the courting season lasting only a few days, she will remain alone this year. Fractures finally healed, Helga is on the move once more. She must regain strength before making her way back to her home. A fresh adult Ceratosaurus hiding in a nearby bush catches her eye. the organs will not give much, the nutrition gained will only help. By the time the night falls, she has a full stomach, but very little by way of nutrition. Still, there is a strange scent of sickness in the air, and she is anxious to leave and return to the comforts of her homeland. Another Serato trots out of the darkness before her, and becomes a prime target. Although she has vomited from the encounter, this fully grown Serato should provide ample nutrition and food for the first leg of her journey home. Travel, however, can be just as dangerous as staying within the northeastern plains. An incredibly bold Serato attacks Helga as she makes her way toward the nearest pond. While she is prepared to fight back, she's forced to flee after another Carnotaurus bites her mid-fight. It is incredibly aggressive and determined, chasing her through the trees until she is exhausted and her bleeding has stopped.
Though she escapes with her life, this encounter leaves a dark shadow in the wake of Helga's departure from the eastern side of the island. The journey back to the southern plains is peaceful after the chaos she endured by the lake. Hunting small mammals and drinking from the Dino-free waters of the Delta River, the Carnotaurus appears much less stressed about her travels toward home. Her return is marked with the destruction of a few smaller predators that have taken up residence in her absence. However, by nightfall, she appears oddly tired and stressed. Helga does not return to her usual night patrols, instead resting atop a large rock keeping watch as best she can. Another Carno has moved into her territory in her absence. Although in general, Helga appears to prefer her solitary life, when a pair of Serratos threaten the new resident Carno, she finally gets to her feet and rushes to help defend it. Weakened by the bacteria in her system, and growing less active by the day, Helga now spends the majority of her time on her lookout. This odd, sedentary behavior from a normally active Carnotaurus begins to draw the attention of even very young predators. This small Omniraptor seems to sense the weakness and harasses the adult Carno mercilessly. Despite her overall lethargy, though, Helga is still a formidable opponent, and the raptor soon discovers that it has bitten off more than it can chew. A short time passes, and Helga's behavior continues to deviate from her normal patterns. She has wandered from her territory and into the swamplands. Her energy levels appear to have returned, as evidenced by her sudden travel into a foreign territory. Perhaps more strangely, though, is she seems drawn to the sound of Stegosaurus. Though she once teased them in her youth, she has since learned to avoid the dangerous herbivores. Regardless, as night falls, she begins to make the beeline directly for the herd. In her right mind, Helga would flee such a situation and hunt safer prey. However, at this point, her behavior has become erratic and aggressive, much like that of the Carnotaurus that had attacked her in the east. Whatever illness it carried had infected Helga. Any sense of self-preservation had been inhibited to the point of being almost non-existent.
She rushed the herd once more, only speeding up her inevitable fate. Weakened by hunger, blood loss, and illness, she succumbs to the soft lullaby of her racing heart.